the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. How you doing, Jose? Doing very, very good, you know. I'm happy to be in Fresno. Um, I got a house here in Fresno now, so I'm getting things situated, but uh, I'm just enjoying my family, enjoying my, my time off before I go back to uh, Riverside and get my... Uh, my training back going, but I uh, I started working out this week. Actually, I did. I went three times this week to work out and uh, to stay active, to stay clean, and stay disciplined. You know, because I know there's bigger fights out there that could happen this year. So I'm excited to go after those big names, man. And I told Rick, my manager, that I think it's time to go and unify, man. It's time to go after the other belts and and uh, hopefully next we move to the welterweight division and and. and and uh, join that action at 147. Hey man, sounds like you're hungry, man. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, you know, I, I think it's you know it's uh, the sport is it's not an easy sport. I respect the sport, and, and and if I'm gonna go out in that ring and perform, I want to perform against the best. You know, I don't want to waste uh, any time. Um, I uh, believe in myself. I I think I'll give anybody at 140. Uh, the toughest fights of their careers, and 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 if I do that, I want to make, I want to be motivated by knowing there's another title that I could possibly win, you know, and there's more that I could win. And uh, there's two names now that are possible: Ivan and Maurice Hooker. You know, Ivan, I, I think he he's coming out of the W. Uh, the, the, yeah, the World Boxing the Super, World Series, Super Series. Yeah, uh, so I think he's, he's dropping out. He's dropping out. He made that official too. He made that official. Yeah. So that's an opportunity for me. And so. Uh, my first, my first, I think that the one that people want to see is Maurice Hooker. Uh, but if that doesn't happen, hopefully we can make a fight happen with Ivan. With Hooker, is it because it seems to be so easy because of the WO, the WBO, and the top rank associations that they have with, well, the, with each other? Yeah, but you know he's also promoted with Eddie Hearn. I think it'll be a much bigger fight with Maurice Hooker, so it'll be a bigger fight uh, financially as well because Maurice Hooker has a a network behind him and is the zone. So when it comes to the zone. And top ring with ESPN, I think you know it's a be, be a bigger money fight because whoever takes that fight, whoever wins that fight, you know, it's obviously going to pay more. Right? right, 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 for sure. That would be a big money fight. But how would that work with top rank and the zone? I mean, I, I, how, who would I, stream just, it? It just depends. Uh, depends who, how we uh, structure it. You know, they have to work that out. They huh? have to work that out. Yeah. Or, um, you know, go for it. Or the, like right. I said, whoever decides to, you know. Um, pay the most money for, for us. Right, with the first bid, right. First bid. So, but and, uh, I know if that fight doesn't happen for the, for those reasons, um, I think Ivan, who's open and has a, a, a title, you know, I would I would love to, I would love to face that that type of fighter too, you know, and and. Well, that's what people love to hear that you want to unify. You yeah, know, they want to see the know, big then, fights. Yeah. Yeah, and then we gotta see how how Paul Grace and, and Josh Taylor who comes out victorious in that tournament or even. Uh, with Relic or the other guy who's in, who's doing the tournament, mm -hmm. you know, we'll see how that happens. So they have their, they have to take care of their business. I gotta be taking care of my business, business. But you know, it seems to me that the overall Super Series tournament and the 140 pound mm -hmm. division is kind of shaky. So very shaky. So if if, if it, everything just drops off after the after this uh, progress fight against Relic uh, or whatever whatever, yeah, whatever really. his name is, yeah, yeah, it's tough. If, if you know. It might not even go to the finals, you know. Even though Josh Taylor against Progress will be a good fight, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, but it just, I think right now, now that we have Ivan that dropped out, made it official. We and uh, Maurice Hooker, who's Eddie, who I believe his promoter Eddie Hearn is is willing to make it. Mm -hmm. those, those are the two options for us in my in my eyes. Right. I mean, in my personal opinion, I believe you're the top at 140. I mean. Uh, just by all your performances, that's what I believe. But plus, uh, with the top ranked machine behind you, and uh, that's the the thing. Like, does the comments or anything like you hear from box the boxing world when they when they speak about the 140 pound division, and they and they might speak of a top ranked diet, they might speak of uh, uh, progress is is the top. I mean, does, does that stuff get to you? Does it bother you? No, does it make you more hungry? Does it fire you up? Yeah, man. It's uh, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. We gotta respect that. Um, uh, I pay no, I pay no attention to, into the only facts, and the only facts is that he hasn't faced me to be to say that. 
I haven't faced him to say that. So for the fans that are, you know, waiting and and or are saying things with their opinions and assumptions, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's totally fair, you know. But it's not a fact. Right. You know, it's just assumptions, you know. And I, I respect their their, their assumptions. Um, yeah. But again, it's it's only making me hungrier and. I'm staying active. You guys know I'm staying active. Man, I'm fighting undefeated fighters, um, uh, fighters who are tough, and you know I'm just I feel like I'm growing after every fight, and after after every fight I'm, I'm just I know that I learn from every fight that I'm going through. So I just can't wait to go back in the gym. Hopefully uh, by May I'll be back in training camp. In the next eight ten weeks I'll have be back in the ring. So that could be as early as July uh, that I'll be back in the ring. Or you know September, it depends if it's a, a, a bigger fight. But I'm on I'm, I'm on I'm on track to do three fights this year, and you know three fights this year. Three okay, fights this year. If I do one July, then I could do one at the end of the year. Right, you're back there in May with uh, Robert Garcia, and this will be the second fight with with Robert. The, my, it'll be my third. My third the, fight with him. It will be the third, right? Yeah, with Robert. So in my in my fourth camp. So um, right now there's good there's good boxing fights that are happening man this weekend let's enjoy this Mikey Garcia against Errol Spence fight oh yeah um, we have Marie Zucker fighting tonight that I'll be watching um, I mean there's uh, some good middleweight fights we have the super middleweight division and then the with the middle with the, with the middleweight with Canelo against uh, Jacobs you know finally some of those fights are coming together so hopefully yeah. the fans are for once a little satisfied man okay so I get Jose's picks on uh, Mikey, Gar uh, Mikey Garcia's we're pants on, we're training on Mikey bro we're, for we're, sure we're you know training. that already that we're was training, and that's that's all I could do, you know. I just had to have you say it. I know you're picking Mikey all day. Yeah, yeah, uh, gotta, second one was, of course, I guess the Canelo, the Canelo Jacobs. Canelo, That's a man. tough fight. I'm picking Canelo to win. I'm picking Canelo to win as Canelo well. Canelo too. Yeah, man. We Fantastic. Gotta, gotta, yeah. Hey, uh, it's great to see you out here in Fresno, man. Showing love back to the to the people of five five nine. And uh, that's why they call you the people's champ out here, man. I hear it uh, own a car in Fresno, right? That's right, man. We're here. I own a car. Come by, check it out, check check out the great deals, man. It's a uh, you know, I think right now it's uh, it's a nice, beautiful day compared to all the rain that's been coming out in the last couple, you know, days. So, come out, I own a car on Blackstone. So, all right, Blackstone man. And Griffith, yeah. Thanks a lot, Jose. Oh, thank you. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the Patreon dot com backslash the boxing voice we have tons of exclusive from border wars and title betting shows the list goes on and on and on but in addition to that if you guys have questions for fighters trainers and promoters this is where you can submit them we will run out get these questions answered and put it back on the show just for you guys appreciate it peace